right, everyone. We will come back to Mirai Club. Um, the car has been sitting for a little bit, and we are going to go fill up because we have to go to Malibu tomorrow um, from the Diamond Bar area. So first going to fill up. Diamond Bar is online. Baldwin Park just turned online. was offline all day. It is currently 10.14 p.m., and we're going to get going. But before we do that, see if you can hear a creak from the rear subframe as I go through. Uh, it wasn't too loud that time, but speed bumps and um, kind of horizontal 45 degree articulation when going up and down a, um, I guess like a driveway or so, something like that. I have been hearing more creaks, but follow me. We're going to do another fill up. I'm going to be touching on the remaining balance of my fuel card and uh, a couple other things, but let's get going. All right, everyone, let's talk about the remaining balance on my fuel card. So for those of you that don't know, and it seems like a lot of you don't, uh, when it comes to the fuel costs, yes, they are very expensive. And the reason why so many people tolerate these insane prices is one, there we don't, I guess some don't have a choice. Um, you have the car already and you're not in the financial position to sell it and go somewhere else um, but most I would say most owners don't mind as much because of a fuel car that Toyota offers for certified pre-owned vehicles it's three years or fifteen thousand dollars and for a purchase of a new Mirai it's six years or fifteen thousand dollars so the dollar amount remains the same the time frame is shortened for the certified pre-owned to three and a purchase is six. Based on the current prices, you're not gonna be, you're prob most people are not gonna be using more, they're the fuel car's not gonna last more than three years. That's the bottom line. Each fuel up is about $180 and most people that commute um, are gonna fill up at least once a week. And if you do the math, uh, I forgot off the top of my head, but it's, it's, you're not going to last three years or you're just going to last three years. Um, but with that being said, uh, let me cut to the chase for, from my situation. I just did a credit or like a balance check for my fuel card. We did purchase, this is a 2022 Toyota Mirai XLE and, um, it's been, we purchased this in the end of February of 2022, February, 2022. So yeah, 2022. So it's a little over two years now. And, um, the remaining balance is just shy of $6,000. So if I, based on my calculations, we fill up on average, like three times a month, which is not much. Don't, don't use the car as a uh, primary commuter or we don't go into the office, uh, my wife and I. So we don't drive too much. So based on the three fill up a month projection, I suspect that we the fuel card will run out in early of next year, calendar year. So January, February is most likely the expiration date or the exhaustion that we will exhaust the remaining balance of the uh, fuel card. With that being said, I'm looking for another car. Most likely, I the plan was always to sell the car after um, the fuel card runs out, um, especially now, considering the prices are the way they are. And maybe if it was cheaper, we'd consider keeping it, but we're not. Um, so with that being said, I wanna ask you all, what should we get next? What would be interesting content, uh, interesting car you would love to see, kind of the day in the life of. Uh, doesn't have to be a hydrogen car. I mean, granted, it's only two vehicles currently available, but anything, uh, let me know. But uh, but yes, for the fuel card, it definitely, we stretched it out a little bit more because when we first bought the car, a full tank was 
I think per kilogram was around $17 or $15, something like that. Much, much more reasonable than today's $36 a kilogram from sampling True Zero stations. Um, and for um, air products, it's I think still $30 per kilogram, but we'll find out. Heading to air product station now in Diamond Bar. But I just wanted to give you all a status update. For those of you that do have a fuel card, how you can check, I'll link in the description, how you can actually check the balance. Yes, you can do it online through a portal, but I found um, just doing it with the old fashioned way over the phone is pretty quick. So you just uh, call the number, you press four, and then you give them the card number. And then, uh, yeah, they'll just let you know the balance over the phone. Um, it's automated, so it's pretty quick. But anyway, off to Diamond Bar. We're gonna fill up again, um, fill up in quite some time. So we'll see how it is. We are trying to pull up to the Diamond Bar station. The gates will be closed because it is after hours, but it is not to worry because we can get through here. Press the button. Please stand by while I contact your party. Can I help you? Hi, filling up hydrogen. Can I get your access has been granted. Please enter. All right, we are in the diamond bar station. Do we have any other filling up? There's one Gen 1 Mirai right there and let's see what kind of natural gas cars we have going on today there's old f-150 a bunch of civics there's the air products trailer all the magic happens or some of the magic Looks like they just wrapped up. Very cool, a lot of cars here. I always thought these things were cool. They have um, these uh, rail car wheels and they can use the rail cars as tracks from mass across the country. So the first gen just left, so it's just us. And as usual, we're gonna do a status check on how much fuel I have left and what I expect. The previous person's filled up 1.7 kilograms at $52. All right, we're gonna park. So we just got here, we are at 130. Nice round number for me to do math later. 130 uh, miles of range. And uh, I had an average score of 67 for uh, MPGE. So let's go. Obviously, the station is online, but is it limited? It's fully online, so I should expect a full tank. Let's open the door, turn off the car, then we're going to open the fuel cap right here. Okay, let's open up the fuel door, remove the dust cover. Then we're going to insert our Toyota hydrogen fuel card, or essentially a gas card. $15,000 or six years, whatever comes first for new cars. And um, 15000 or three years if you get a certified pre-owned Mirai. And for those of you curious, I did a check. Uh, Toyota uh, earlier this week, the cheapest pre-owned Mirai, it's a Gen 1 that I saw, I think it had like 60,000 miles on it, um, was six grand, something like that. So yes, for those of you that might be wondering, like that 
kind of sounds weird. Yes, that is true. Six grand for the car and you still get that $15,000 fuel card or three years in this case or in that case. A nice little uh, tape job. Interesting. I guess as long as it works. Uh, price check we're still at twenty nine ninety five. I think it went down uh, four cents, maybe. Um, no, uh, I don't know, but about thirty dollars a kilogram still. Yeah, again, kind of uh, revisiting the car I should get next. The Mirai is cool. Um, not super practical compared to the competition, but let me know again what you think. Uh, I was maybe thinking about going backwards and getting a Gen 1, maybe a CPO, kind of get that experience, share with you all how it is, buying like the cheapest or one of the cheaper ones you can get and then getting that fuel card. But uh, we'll see, there's a lot of good car deals coming out. I know the economy softening and all that stuff. I'm not gonna pretend to understand everything, but a lot of good offers, um, so we'll keep looking. But January or February, expect this thing to be gone. We need a replacement. And um, those of you that want some questions answered about this thing, leave them in the comments. Why are we tolerating the fuel? Hopefully I answered that, or at least part of it. And um, yeah, but one thing I want to mention, I I know I, I talked about it really briefly before, but uh, the I uh, just finished fueling, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you heard the hiss, that's what you usually hear, but the subframe is still creaking. It's creaking a little bit more and more every time. And for those of you that didn't watch uh, that last video or that video, the subframe was creaking quite a bit, so I actually had the dealership filed a uh, service order under the warranty and had them replace the bushings. And it, it worked for like uh, no noise for about a month and then it slowly came back and now it's kind of back to where it was. So um, yeah, three, let's, I'm gonna flip the camera over, see the prices. All right, just finished up. We're, we were about at a quarter tank, 3.4 kilograms. A hundred two dollars. Disconnects, you know the rules. Push in with the black, pull with the blue. I found that to be the easiest way. Use two hands, but just for video, try to do it with one. If not, I mean, it, this one might need two. And disconnected, let's return it. And for those of you that know, I know early on when they started, they had these nozzles. Why did they stop it? If you know the answer, please share it with everyone else. Let's put the dust cover back on. Start the car up again. We were at 130 miles when we um, when we got here. I expect with the MPG E number, we should be at. 300, I'm gonna say 315. Let's see. Turning on the car. And what is the number? 338, that's pretty good. So before I go any further, um, what I'm gonna do, so yes, the current mileage is at just a little over 24,000. Um, I am going to reset, I need to figure out how to use this again, uh, reset the trip. So let me do that. Hold on. I know probably some of you are screaming at me right now. I'm trying to, it's been a while. Um, I know I need it. I could change that to trip somehow. Sorry. I'm doing something wrong. Hold on, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. I found it, it's over here. So, 
I just pressed it, trip A. We're gonna reset this, I assume by holding it. Yep, just held, okay. So you saw it here first, I just reset it. It's at zero, trip A. I'm not gonna touch it until the next fill up and I'll follow up. We're at 338. With AC, let's, let's be fair here, 338 is without AC, with AC. 310 338 310 those are the numbers we're looking for let's say 310 to be nice um and trip a i'm not going to touch anything else i'm not going to go off the estimated range here or i'm gonna, we're essentially going to fact check how accurate this uh range estimator is i know a lot of people on the comments and forums say you should be using that the trip number because that's the true number not this estimated number um, so yeah, anyway, that's a long-winded way of saying we're gonna check and thank you for watching uh, We're back and we're gonna be making a lot more Mirai videos Let me know if you have any questions not just on fueling at least let me be the starting piece where you all can State your piece for those Mirai experts out there But here we go another day in the life of a Toyota Mirai hydrogen car um, Here we go